All right, Wayne Bettis here, the founder of the Off The Tools podcast. I just want to introduce you to our brand new sponsor, directplumbingsupplies.com. It is founded by a former tradesman who has set up his own plumbing and heating merchants. He has an online shop, which is obviously at directplumbingsupplies.com, and he delivers across the UK. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the show. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just thought I would jump on live. Um, basically, I've been promoting a report that I've wrote and I've just had a literally just had a notification. So this video wasn't planned, but I've just had a notification that inflation is currently at 6.2% record high for 30 years. Wow. What that means is today, the last month, the last six months, whatever it is, you know, you've been if you haven't raised your prices, you've been losing money, okay? So as a trades industry business, I know the majority of you haven't raised your prices. So what I would suggest you do is in the description or in the comments, you should see a link to the report that I've wrote. Head over there, have a little read, see what you think. It's all facts. Um, I don't need to sell you this to, to, to raise your prices, you know? Once you've read that report, it's a no-brainer. You owe it to yourself, you owe it to your family, and you know, owe it to your business to be charging correctly. And with 6.2% being the official figure, you know, that's the official figure. It's actually a lot higher than that if you look at other, like especially in our industry, when you factor in wood and you factor in all different stuff. It's, um, I'm just going to share, I oh know, I'll leave that. Um, it's actually a lot higher. And for those that don't know what inflation is, is is the layman's explanation is is like if you had a hundred pounds, right, you would need a hundred. Based on today's just today's inflation rate that's been been announced, you would need to have a hundred and six pound twenty to be able to buy the equivalent. It doesn't sound a massive difference, but when you factor that in across thousands of pounds and over the course of a whole year, and you factor in inflation. In the report that I've wrote, I've factored in inflation since 2002. So you've got 20 years worth of inflation. And I think the figure is, is £100 in 2002, you would need £175, £180. It's nearly 80% the more you would need. So we're not talking, it might sound like most years, it's just 1% or 2% or 3%, but that compounds. OK, so it's actually well, I'm, I'm not going to go into all the details. You need to download the report, the comment, everything's in there. You know, it tells you everything you need to know. And it doesn't even include the current inflation because it isn't official yet. Um, so when I factor that into the edited report that I'm, I'll do in the summer, it's going to be even higher. You know, it could be it could be near double, could be nearly double what you you would need nowadays. Um, the, the report's titled The Profit Killer because it's eating away at your profits. If you run a business, especially in the trades and construction industry, because I know for a fact from the thousands of men that I've worked with, you know, I know that most aren't raising their prices. So a little challenge for you, right? For those, I get lots of naysayers. Oh, I, I, it's too competitive. I've got this bloke doing it for this price around here and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, they might be valid excuses. But the challenge is... The next five customers, after you've read the report, because I want you to have the data and the understanding of why you need to do this. I don't, I'm not just saying it to be greedy or to make more money. I'm doing this because you need to do this to survive. So anyway, the challenge is the next five customers that phone you up. If you, once you've decided what method in the report, there's there's four strategies to, to use, four proven strategies that you can use to raise your prices. Decide on which way you're going to go set some new prices. And for the next five customers, I want you to give them the new price. Okay. And let the results dictate whether or not you can do it or not. If they, if you lose them, okay, fair enough, right? You might've gone up too high. You might have to adjust it a little bit, but my bet is that you're going to win the majority of them, them jobs still. Okay. Because what do you do? What do you do when Sky sends you a bill to say that they're putting their packages up? You accept it. What do you do when the petrol prices go up? You pay it. Yeah. What do you do when you go and buy your loaf of bread and it's now an extra 20p? You pay it. Right. It's the reality of life. We just accept it. 
Okay, so stop thinking that your customers are any different. Stop thinking that this industry is any different. It's only different because what goes on in here. Yeah, this little six inches of headspace that you have might be eight inches on my big head. I don't know. <laughs> um, you know, is is what's stopping you doing it. And you've got to do it. If you if you want to be a real business, if you want to, you owe it to your family because if you're not doing this, you're losing money. So you're going to work today for less money than you were last year or the year before. Where is the logic in that? We should be looking for progress as a business owner. We shouldn't be going backwards. As you can tell, I'm quite passionate about this. Um, it's a topic that, you know, I've I've been... I've been promoting for the last four or five years, four years, 2018. I think I, I first initially raised this, this um, thing. So um, please, yeah, do the challenge, post below and, or, or, or send me a message of the results that you get from these next five, five, five clients. Um, the, the news that I'm getting from people is that it's, they've all, their people are accepting, you know, and they will. And like I say, this isn't about greed. This is necessity to maintain. This isn't even making more money. This is just to maintain a level of, of income that you're used to. So go do it. No excuses. Let's go. I really hope you enjoyed the show. Um, I just wanted to pull it out there for anyone listening that I offer business coaching, but also life coaching. My life is centered around something called the free bees, which is stands for body business and balance when you work with me as a coach we tackle all three aspects of life so you as an individual body mindset health fitness knowledge education business b obviously stands for your business improving maximizing opportunities elevating making more money and balance stands for your for friends family loved ones you know making time for everything in your life and the freebies is the core element to that if you'd like to learn more i would ask you to reach out to me on uh, facebook instagram tiktok wherever you might be consuming my information um or you can email me directly at wayne at off the tools.co.uk i'm here waiting to assist you to elevate across all aspects of life have a good one no excuses let's go